Hey friends, so I just got through ordering this uh, from a company called Half Shy, and uh, we're going to take a look at it. Since I'm not using a tripod to hold this phone, uh, we're going to go ahead and open it and come right back. Wow. They really go all out on packaging this for you. So, this is Practice of Monthly Lyric Workbook by Half Shy. I found this on Facebook, of all places. And um, I ordered it. I got it through the mail within just a few days. It was packaged with a lot of care. It's a monthly lyric writing book, and, and it's a lot more than that. So let's go ahead and look at this. Wow, so it's got a section for once you've once you first wake up in the morning. Just fill up the page with your morning thoughts. back to So this is for you to daily basis. To work through one thing every day. Take it apart, see how it works. So choose a great song and dismantle it. So here they want you to pick a song. Write down the title, the, the tempo, the, how long the song is, what genre it is, who wrote it. Uh, they want you to find the format. Identify verse, your rhyme scheme, and the main theme, the idea, setting, the point of view, structure your favorite line and analyze the production listen closely section by section headphones on rewind and repeat notice the repetition and change harmonies and melodies feeling and why uh, rhythm instruments talk about the instrumentation how it was arranged effect shoes, uh, the panning, the production style, you name it. So they really want you to go through and analyze the song. They give you word exercises. Adjective, concrete word, abstract. So they take you through word exercises. Sensory perception. Choose any phrase from your song.
from your song starters page. Write it in box one. Rewrite last word in box two. And find ten rhymes. Write them into boxes. Pick two or three great ones rhyming and creating a story. So they take you through an entire process. They even give you basic chord progressions that you can choose from. And if you don't actually know enough theory to understand what the symbols represent, they give you different keys and you can match everything up by whatever key you're looking for. So let's say that you want to use something like, let's go ahead and go with this one. A minor one, seven, minor four, major six. So we know we're in a minor key. Let's just pick a random one, F minor. So F minor, so let's say that we're using the first chord progression here. The minor one, uh, minor four, major six, major three. I know that's not the same one, but let's just keep it simple. So that would be F minor, B flat minor, uh, D flat major, A flat major. So this is really, really useful. This in harmonic rhythm, the rate, the chord progression changes, mix it up, see how it affects the mood. And they're doing it in a way that they're using like a MIDI bars to show how long each um, chord should be held out. So, so like for your C chord, in the case where they're using a C major key as an example, like first one would be a one and two and for a C. So two beats for C, one beat for F, one for G scene investigation so examine a scene from a photo film or real life and describe the setting as if writing a short story stay heavily detailed and sensory bound uh, using strong concrete nouns and adjectives to practice translating the world around you into descriptive imagery and you got some rhyme schemes down here or some common ones that you can use. And this is where you're using uh, different rhyme um, couplings. So like down here, they got suggestions of different schemes like A, A, B, B, A. I mean, there's millions of ways of doing it, but they at least ways give you a guided way of doing it. Take today to nerd out on a topic you forgot or never learned often times. There are undiscovered metaphors in the details of how things work. Examine its origins. Discover what makes it tick. Discover what makes it tick and explore the role it plays in the world. Overheard and underappreciated. Stake out a place and eavesdrop on the conversations around you. Listen intentionally but politely and write down interesting phrases within a few of the different conversations. So, yeah, they ask you to do a little eavesdropping and see if you think of any interesting song subjects or topics. So you can find ideas anywhere. So, so each time that they want you to take a part of a song... They go about a different way of having you come up with ideas for something else. And then this one, put it back together. Interesting. So... And it looks like they have uh, saw something interesting.
So, day 30, every single thing in the world is experienced through the filter that is your brain and consciousness. It's probably a good idea to get to know each other. Ask yourself a deeply personal question and explore the reasons behind your answer. There are a ton of useful writing exercises out there you wouldn't want to spend every week with. Take today to page through a few books and websites and try out a new one. Growing pains on toolbox. This is the thing I was looking at just a moment ago. Working through an idea, start a song, pick a song starter idea, and use the following pages to focus your thoughts and build a strong vocabulary list. First, free write for two pages and explore your main theme, characters, and emotions. So, you can write down the idea, the main idea, the song, and your working title. And the different points that you want in. Drop the plans. Bring in your main ideas from the previous page. And use this space to explore them freely. Circle each idea, then branch off. For your associating and creating a map by connecting the dots before moving to the more structured form of the outline. So this is like a brainstorming exercise right here. And of course, you know, you don't have to use every section known, known to man. Create your word bank. So it's a very structured way of um, getting ideas down on paper and possibly creating a bank um, of ideas to use in future works. Yeah, you can create quite an extensive bank. Uh, use outline and word banks from the previous pages to write a song. Let the first draft be quick and flawed, then refine from there, but don't get stuck in perfection. Do your best at this moment. Move on and be proud of your progress. So you build up a huge palette, and then you can use that palette to create a song, but you can reuse it as well. Especially if you plan on using a similar theme. Or if you don't like the initial results, you can always go back and say, Hey, I didn't like this, but I did like this. So what can I do different? And you can organize some song starters and ideas. And some references for... Things like figures of speech, adjectives, adverbs, nouns, rhyme types, alliteration, consonant families. So it gets really, really detailed. Oh, this is really useful. Here's a chord chart for a standard ukulele. Writing gets better with practice. A morning boot up routine to clear your head and organize your thoughts. 31 days of practice through daily writing exercises. Songwriting toolbox to turn practice into finished projects every month. You can leave behind the self defeating procrastination of perfectionism. Embrace the idea that practice will be imperfect. Book is a refuge for embarrassing and wild ideas. Take risks, humor yourself, and try your best. By showing up every day, your best will only get better. So how to use this book. Part one is the morning boot up. Shut off that terrible morning beeping and take a deep breath. Now sit up and write what images filled your dreams. How did you feel? How would you like to feel? Every morning starts by answering these questions honestly before your ego has time to catch up. The morning dump is there to clear your mind, lighten your load, and smirk at a poop joke. This isn't meant to be beautiful writing. Don't edit yourself. 
overthink it or take yourself too seriously. Just flush it out. Round out the routine with good intentions. Remind yourself what's good and list a few goals to knock out. This can be daily to-do lists, monthly goals, reiterated or a broad reminder about what you want to accomplish in this life. Finally, each day check in on your health, mental, physical, where does it hurt? Take a good look at your habits and schedule and time right every day. This is where you put the reps of con- consistent work to hone your craft. Six foundational exercises with a seven day switch up. Repeat every week to create a flexible routine. Experiment. Make mistakes. Throw out perfection and watch yourself and watch your work get better. Putting into practice. One of the best ways to improve is by consistently finishing your projects. The toolbox is a guided process to gather and organize your thoughts to help finish a new song every month. What the goal is improvement, remember this is practice. Don't be a fussy perfectionist about it. Try out new ideas. Be ridiculous and unoriginal. Let yourself fill the pages with ugly verses and cheesy rhymes so you can shape your story and learn from your mistakes. Whatever you do, just keep on writing. Now go get them, Tiger. Oh, they want you to sign a contract and grade yourself. Wow. And if found, so if you lose it, call that number. Let's see. I'm going to work through this and uh, share the results with you. So let's uh, get to work. If, you, um, if you're if you interested in uh, ordering one for yourself, this company is called Hashi. And there's the website right there, Hashi.com. I hope that you... Um, enjoyed this video. I hope that you um, get something out of it. I hope that this kind of inspires you to give something else a try. Something new. Some exercises that maybe you wouldn't have done on your own. 